Over 200 dead people are currently frozen, waiting to see the light of the day once again. New studies suggest that some of them have disfigured beyond repair, while others have met a fate far worse than death. For decades, people have arranged to freeze their bodies after death, dreaming of resurrection with the advancement in future medicine. Meet James Bedford, the very first human to be frozen with this technology. James passed away due to terminal cancer. Soon after his death, James was taken to a facility in Arizona where his body was rested frozen. For over 57 years, James is waiting for a miracle that would bring him back to life. Miracles that do happen in nature. What you are looking at is not a normal worm. It is a round worm that was found in Siberia, buried approximately 130 feet deep in the permafrost. When these worms were placed in water, they suddenly came back to life. Using radiocarbon dating, researchers determined that these worms were frozen for over 46,000 years. Packed in cylindrical tanks filled with liquid nitrogen, these bodies are frozen below 320 degrees Fahrenheit. The process of freezing begins within minutes of someone being declared legally dead. At this time, their organs are still viable. Acting quickly, a cryonic steam drains all of their blood and replaces their blood with cryoprotectant solutions that are specially made to protect the cells and tissues, following which the patients are transferred to the liquid nitrogen tanks. Companies like Alcor and the Cryonics Institute monitor these bodies round the clock. Cryopreservation for an entire body at Alcor costs at least $200,000. Some people also choose to preserve just their brain in hope that it will be attached to a robot someday in future, which costs around $80,000. Along with humans, these companies also have hundreds of pets preserved. But what they do not tell you is that in most cases, these cryoprotectant solutions have a damaging effect on the brain and the body parts. In some cases, things have gone so wrong that the bodies started decomposing. They turned into a plug of fluids that were scraped off the bottom of the capsule. So far, bodies that have been examined by the scientists following cryopreservation have been damaged beyond repair. Meaning, even if future technology could revive dead humans, these bodies would not be of any use. I want to leave you with a question. If you had the ability to live forever, would you even want to? 